Hi guys, uh, how's it going? My name's Corey, this is my wife Crystal, uh, this is our dog Bear, and this is our uh, oldest dog Buddy. Uh, we wanted to do this uh, video real quick uh, for uh, off-leash canine training in Sacramento. Both dogs, Bear, uh, the one I just walked away, was very skittish, was afraid of kids, was afraid of people in general that he didn't know. Um, to the point to where we just felt it was easier to not let him stay uh, when we have social gatherings. And today is probably our first real test of the training that uh, our trainer Gina, by the way, thank you very much Gina, uh, super uh, informative on the entire process. And today I can safely say that our dogs are transformed. Uh, we were deathly afraid of we love our dogs personalities but when it's with a group of people it's different we were really expecting like a broken character of a dog and kind of just a robot that's not the case i'm, I'm here to tell you that right now uh, they are exactly the same as they were just that they have more discipline now uh, they're both sitting here i know they're off off camera uh, but they both are uh, doing very well very relaxed and uh, i think the anxiety for not only us but them has gone down uh, a ton. Something that we wanted to do because I'm pregnant and the baby was coming and we didn't want, people were telling us that we needed to get rid of one of our dogs because he was a little too skittish and he shouldn't be around babies and that was just something that was not gonna we happen. were not going to do. Mm -hmm. so, like it's really nice to be at a party with our dogs and you know with our friends and you know not hesitate or not worry that the dogs are going to nip the kids or you know freak out gina has been very helpful because very. if you have two dogs you know they're worse together than they are apart mm -hmm. um, and so she's been helping us answering all our questions you know working with us even though you know it's past those two weeks that the dogs were boarded yep. you know she's still checking in on us and we really appreciate it because she, she fit the mold of the trainer that we felt really comfortable with and I think the dogs felt really comfortable with mm -hmm. um, like I said uh, she the, the customer service for them was impeccable because um, when you obviously you're not seeing your dog at all they don't let you see them at all but they pretty much do through the lens of a camera now so we were getting videos of progress that they were making mm -hmm. Um, even just them settling down the first couple of days, it wasn't like they weren't trying to just rush them into it. They were trying to get them comfortable first being with uh, someone like Gina. And then, you know, as they started to train, uh, Gina started seeing results from both dogs doing exactly what they needed to do. Um, but really informing us as the owners, since we had basically disconnection from them, the videos really help reinforce like any fear that you have. Um, you can tell. Well, I can tell, especially just from Gina. I don't know any of the other trainers, but as far as Gina went, she went above and beyond. Did that thing. Yeah. After this party, I can wholeheartedly say from the bottom of our hearts to Gina, thank you very much uh, for caring of both these dogs like they're your own. Um, and then uh, still with the support even after, still checking up, still wanting to get together to help us out more. Um, from the bottom of our heart, thank you very much, mm -hmm. Gina. You've, you've made this day wonderful.